Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my prep and pack routine when I'm traveling. So first up, I like to get my beauty maintenance and my beauty routine things out. So that would mainly be three things, laser hair removal, getting my lashes and my nails done. I've already shown you my lashes and my nails in many different videos, so you're probably already familiar with that. I'm getting my underarms laser today. I love getting my laser done. I feel like if it helps so much because I have Indian in me and my hair is thick, dark and coarse. So laser hair removal has been helping me so much. I have done laser in the past, but this time I'm just really trying to be more consistent. So I did this a month before my trip. So I knew that the hair would not grow back by the time I'm ready to go. Gemini, born a dark spring moon sky. Couldn't change her if you tried. My lashes and my nails I would normally do the week before I'm leaving, so I'll just be touching that up. So a month before my trip, I decided to write down a plan for my workouts as well as my dinners and really watch what I was eating and create a workout schedule that would be able to make me feel and look my best by the time my trip comes around. As you can see, I focus a lot on hit Pilates and bar, as well as reformal Pilates, which are my favorite types of workouts. I definitely recommend this whenever you have a trip to kind of plan your meals and your workout routines because it's not just about how you look, but it's how you feel because on vacation, you tend to walk a lot and you don't wanna be really tired. You wanna be able to be confident, full of energy, and just not tired all the time. Watch them grow wherever she wants to go. Never picking up her phone. She does begin alone. Whoa, and they say to be Something else I wanted to share with you is the little list that I made for my friend who will be coming to Cat Sit My Cats. I made a list of all of their food, litter, how to play with them and all these little things. I know this is so random, but this is genuinely part of my prep and pack process. This is the first time I'm leaving my cat's home and it's giving me so much anxiety. So I wanted to make sure that they have everything written down so that my friend will know exactly what is going on and exactly what she has to do. <laughs> Now it's time for some unboxings. Again, these would be things that I would have done like a month before when I was planning for my trip. Something I wanted to get was packing cubes and I got these really gorgeous beige ones on Amazon. They did have pink and I'm not gonna lie, I almost took the pink, but I felt like if the beige, I love the neutral vibe and aesthetic of it. This is a set of 10 and you got so many different sizes and pouches and I will be packing in these later so you'll actually be able to see how I use them and how I categorized my items. Next up, I did order some items from Shein. I ordered a few items that I thought would be absolutely perfect for my vacation. I already have a ton of clothes that I don't really wear and probably never wore before and I did pack a lot of those but I still wanted to get like three or four new items that I could actually wear for the main days I'll be in different countries for. Before you buy any new clothes or accessories I definitely think you should sit down and take some time to plan out exactly what you like to wear and the outfits that you would like so you can kind of see what you need to buy and what you can already use. You guys, I got some things that I wanted to show you that was just like an additional part of my packing. So the first up is this pill case from Amazon. They have different colors. So of course I would choose the pink one and it does come with another smaller one, but I gave my mom that one. And inside you just pop it open and you can put in all of your pills inside of it. So I have Advil, Tums and some vitamins on this side. I definitely recommend when you're going to a foreign country, especially if you're traveling by yourself, to make sure and have some meds because you don't want to feel upset and need your Tums and you don't want to have a headache or not feel well and not have Advil on you. And of course, like buying medicine in different countries, sometimes it could be really tricky, sometimes it could be really expensive. So I do recommend having some sort of pill keys. And again, this is especially if you're by yourself. Or you know what, even if you're not by yourself, it's just good to have something in the case of an emergency that is really small and you can just pack it really inconspicuously. It's not gonna take up much space. So definitely recommend a pill like case carrying situation. What I do have to do is label it, but I didn't like the labels that it came with. Some of the pill cases have like actual stickers that you can use 
use but I think I'm just going to do like clear labels across there. I just think it will look better and more elegant and I could just peel it off easily if I need to. You guys I literally had to run my cats out of my room just now because <laughs> they were making so much noise. So next up is this jewelry organizer that everyone literally has but I thought I would share it with you in case. So mine is this really pretty beige one which I thought went really nice with the rest of my packing but it so happened as I was packing this I literally got asked to be a bridesmaid for my friends and this was in the bridesmaid box and let me just say this one is so different because it does have like a mirror and then you can like pull it down and then you have the next part of the case like this so I really think that was really nice so it has the same section where you can put in all of your rings across here um, some like jewelry and then of course you can pull it down and have like necklaces and stuff like that. So this jewelry organizer does not have a mirror in it. It's just really simple. But the pink one that I got from my friend has the mirror in the middle, which I really do like. But I think I want all of my packing things to look the same color. <laughs> the other difference between this is that this is velvet. So it's definitely a little bit more luxurious. It feels better. But this one, I feel like if it gets wet or dirty, it is going to be fine, which is better for a trip anyway. So yeah, I can always like clean this up so I just have like some necklaces in it some jewelry and there's some earrings just nothing too fancy I don't really wear much jewelry if you guys already know me so um yeah this matches with my beige packing cubes which I love and which has been so helpful so far packing which I can't wait to show you guys and then something else from Amazon is this portable charger which I really liked because again if you're by yourself you don't want your phone to be running out of battery and then you don't have a charger on you or you do have your charger and you have to like find somewhere to charge it so you basically plug it into your phone and it has like this part on top where you can pull out so the charging section here is very secure and then you can see like the number of like the percent of your phone so I will just like plug mine in for you guys to kind of get an idea. So I just think that that is so useful. So I will probably just leave it in here to play around with it and see how it works. And then obviously you go ahead and just make sure that this is charged all the time. My cats are making so much noise, you guys. I'm so sorry. But I just thought that this was a really nice option because it's really inconspicuous. You can use your phone while you have it. It's not like really big and I'm sucky and I can just take calls. I can do everything like that without it being too bulky at all so that works really well and I just like it it's pink obviously they have different colors but yeah I just like the convenience of it and how you can actually use your phone when it's charging I did pick up some items from Sheen as well which I might show you and probably do a little try on haul but as I'm packing right now I wanted to show you one of those things which is this really pretty bag and I did want a bag so I can have it when I'm going on all the little islands and stuff like that and this is like this basket woven bag and I love the bow of course you know I just got it primarily because it had this really pretty bow and you guys know I am just loving all things coquette and all about bows and stuff like that. It also has a strap which I love because you can just like carry it on your shoulder as well but you can also hold it like this which I think is really cute and it matches all of the clothes that I got. So I made sure to choose outfits that would match my bag so I can just carry one bag like this but I do have other purses for the night and stuff but this is primarily for the day trips on the different islands. I just think it's so cute and inside it's like polka dot. It has a good amount of space for like mainly my phone, lip gloss, like my wallet and stuff like that so I just think this was really cute and I will show you some of my other outfits that I picked up. I only purchased like three items for my trips because I wanted to plan everything out this time because I obviously don't want to overpack. I just want to have one suitcase on this trip. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue packing and I'll be sharing with you little things here and there. Okay, so now it's time to pack my skincare with me and I'm using these travel size containers. They have such different varieties and types that you can get. I will have a few linked in down below. So I'm just going to be putting my moisturizer, face wash, as well as my micellar water inside these. It also came with a little funnel which I thought was really handy because that is perfect for liquids and dispensing anything that has a very small opening. These also came with labels and I absolutely love how the labels look. You'll see me putting it on very soon. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish up filling my travel size containers. <laughs> Right. 
Honestly, this was so satisfying to do and I just really did enjoy it. If you have never had travel size containers, I definitely recommend it because it will surely cut down on a lot of weight and you can organize your items really easily. And of course, I'm not even going to lie, it does not hurt that it looks so cute. <laughs> Okay, now that we have prepped all of our skincare items, we're gonna pack it. And I'm gonna use one of the pieces that came in the beige packing cube set. I thought that this one was absolutely perfect for all of my skincare items. So let us go ahead and pack that. So this is a pill case from Amazon. As you can see, this is how I organize everything. This is perfect so that I would always have any little things that I might need for whatever may come up. My best friend actually gave me this little sample size of perfume, so I thought it would be perfect to carry on my trip. So I just slipped those out of the box and popped it into the little section on top with the rest of my skincare. I added some liners to my bag, so I feel like if this was definitely complete now. I love how this looks. It looks so pretty, like you have to admit, and it has all of my essentials, and everything looks really nicely organized and laid out. I love how easily the bag folds up. It is just so perfect. Even if you're going on a short trip or a long trip, I love this. I highly recommend it. Okay, let us pack my makeup now. I'm adding my bigger skincare lotion to that because I do have eczema, so I definitely need to carry something like that. For my makeup, I have a very minimalist makeup collection and I just am only carrying my essentials. These are things that I love and use every single day. Now it is time for the fun part. Let us pack all of my clothes and organize my things with the packing cubes. What I planned on doing from the very beginning was to organize my packing cubes based on my different outfits that I would need for different things. So this is my dinner outfit packing cube and I have seven dinner outfits and I'm placing all the matching sets together and rolling it up really nicely so it fits well. I just wanna run and hide but the fading of the lines pulls me to reality and it's just too real for me. I don't wanna give in but I got paper for the skin Next up, these are outfits that I'll be wearing on the ship itself, which is just three days. So I decided to just pack like one pair of shorts and different crop tops. And I did pack around five crop tops. I know I don't need five crop tops. I needed less, but I decided to still pack it up because just in case, you never know. <laughs> This packing cube ended up being a lot bigger, especially since these clothes were a lot smaller in size and bulk. So I switched it out to this one and it really fitted a lot better. And of course, everything is really rolled up nicely so that it is organized and I can find everything when I need it. For my bikinis, it is the same process of just keeping everything together and rolling it up, like rolling up all the sets as one so that I'll be able to find it really easily. Sitting on my kitchen. 
kitchen floor Been here too many times before I'm trying to wait and fall For my island outfits, these were the new outfits that I got from Shein and I love these so much I can't wait to show you it and I actually might do a little Shein haul, like a vacation haul so you guys can probably go ahead and check that out. But I just had so much fun packing these up and it also had this strap which could hold your items in and I love that extra little touch because it would make everything feel so much more put together and wouldn't be like falling all over so when you open it all your clothes will be tucked in really nicely. In the light of day dressed in disguise I just want you guys, I had to leave this little clip in. Coco came with a ball because she wanted to play and I just had to stop and play with her. Okay, so let us get on to shoes. And it's so funny because all of the bags that these Shen clothes come in, I always save them because it comes in so handy. And in this case, I'm putting my shoes in it because I feel like if it is just better than using like a normal plastic bag. So these hold my shoes really well and they also come in very handy if you have like wet clothes and you want to put it in your suitcase immediately without soaking everything thing up. The Shein bags are actually really good quality, I have to admit. And of course, it can like zipper up, which makes it even more perfect. So now onto accessories and I'm using another packing cube and I also decided to put some things inside of the bag. So I did some nipple covers as well as bows and these little clips. And then I went ahead and packed the two other purses that I have. So again, I made sure to carry things that I'll be able to use with multiple items and a black and white purse is just a must. And then of course the prissy basket one that I showed you. That was basically all of the packing cubes and how I used them. So I'm just popping in the jewelry case in one of these bags because it had a lot of extra space and I probably will add some things right before my flight but at least I know where everything is and how every single thing is categorized which makes it so easy for me to find it and plan out my outfits. That is the end of my prep and pack with me video. When I'm traveling, I have as much things linked in in the description box. So you can go out and check it out if you see something that you like. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.